In this video, I will be demonstrating the cell cross function in OpenRefine. Sometimes when you're working with data that's in spreadsheets, you need to get one or more values from spreadsheet A into spreadsheet B and match them with the correct row. There are several ways that you can do this, but one of the easiest I found is using OpenRefine and a function it has called cell cross. OpenRefine uses the general refine expression language which is very powerful, but a little different than languages like SQL or Python, which you might otherwise be using to manage your data. One of the things that this actually emulates is something similar to joining two tables in a database, except instead of using a database, you're using a spreadsheet. In this demo, I hope to make that language a little easier to use and understand, and I will show you how you can move your data around between sheets. For this demo, I've designed a simple project. Suppose that you want to add a link from one system into another system. I'm using library and archival systems here with the idea being that you have catalog records for your archival collections, but you are also describing them in the archive space software. The project involves several spreadsheets, one of which is a mock-up of an export from archive space with archival data. I'm going to add that right now. So this is how you would add a project to OpenRefine. You browse and upload it. Choose the project name. I'm calling it archives underscore sample. And you can see I can preview each of the fields. This is just a dummy export, but I have the archive space ID, which is the database ID, the title, the extent, and the URL, which is what I'm going to try to add to another project. So I'm going to click Create Project. Now over here, this is Key Match Sample. This is another spreadsheet which assumes that I have the catalog key for the record about a collection and the archive space ID for the record about that same collection. So essentially, I'm matching two different database IDs. However, what I have in the URL is in this spreadsheet, and I want to add it to the catalog. So I need a way to take this URL and put it in this spreadsheet. Then I could delete this column and simply say, OK, run a batch update where if the cat key is this, put in this URL in the correct field. So how am I going to do that? Well, this is where cell cross comes in. Here's an example of the cell cross formula. When using cell cross, you are adding a column based on the data in the existing column. And I will demonstrate in a moment how that works. But here we're saying, go to the other project so from this project to this project, I'll have to insert the project name. Match the column that I'm referencing with the column in this other project. Then, uh, oops, and there's a typo there. Then add the column that I have selected to add and get the value of that column. It sounds a little weird and esoteric, but once you actually see it play out, it makes a lot of sense. So let me copy this and I will walk through the process. First, I select the column that I want to use as a reference point. This is the column that has to match something else over here. And while I am using an ID, which is a very nice reference point, you can actually match things like text strings as long as the values are identical. If the values aren't identical, you may need to do some data cleanup first. So add column based on this column. This means that each row of the new column will be based on the same row in the, the existing column. I'm going to name the column URL. And let's see what it does as a default. So here's general refined expression language. And right now it's just saying, get the value of the source reference column, which is archives ID. So in that case, it's just echoing the same thing over here. That's not very helpful. But I could say do plus 
period. That puts a period on the end or say plus period. I could say add a, and there's easier ways to do this particular thing, but this is just an example of how you can do some really basic value transformations. But what if we want to do something more complicated like cell cross? So I'm going to paste in the cell cross function and then show you how to walk through it. As you see, the preview is already populating some very nice uh, results. So over here we have cell, which uh, essentially references the cell in the row. Cross says that we are going to reference another project within OpenRefine. And as you see, I have three OpenRefine projects open in my browser. That's totally fine. I can have as many as my uh, system memory can support. So Cross says, okay, look for what I called over here, other project. So what is the other project that I need to target? That project's name is archive sample. That's what I named this project over here. Here is where you put in the, the cell to match. So we have this match here, and then it finds the same one over here, which is something I've called marmot field notes, and it goes and grabs the URL. This part, if I'll just show you what happens if you remove it. You can have results as an array, as you see down here, these are single item arrays. Because we're targeting exactly one thing, I'm selecting the first item of the array and making it easier to work with the data. Now you can add multiple cells here and I'm not demonstrating that in this, but I will try to add it to the tutorial that I write up and post on my website in tandem. So you're selecting, now you're selecting the cell. So you've said, okay, in archive sample, match the value of this with the value of field A space ID, if it exists. And then don't select A space ID because that's just a match. Select the cell URL. So that's this. And then part of uh, Google general refine expression language is specifying what you actually want. So if I put this here, it becomes a reference. It just says, yeah, there's a cell that says that. But if you add value, then it actually gets the value of that cell. So now I can say, okay, I add this. You see, not everyone has a published finding aid. And then if I wanted to, I could say, uh, remove this column. And now I have something to work from for my next process. I can also say, um, let me do a quick text filter. I'm just going to select everything that actually has something in it. And then I could export just these matches and use them in my project. OpenRefine actually has undos and redos. So I'm going to go back to this one and then um, I'm going to also remove the facet filter. So now you can see the whole project again. So that's the first step with it. Now, what if I had another case where I have all these old finding aid URLs and maybe I'm going to delete and overwrite them, but perhaps people have linked to them elsewhere. So how can I set up a redirect project where I hand somebody a spreadsheet that has the old URL in one column and the new URL in another column. Well, we have the cat key as a key here, and we have the cat key as a key here. So what I can do is in this, I can add a column based on the cat key. And this is how I'm gonna show you walking through the whole process. So I will call it um, new URL. I will say cell period, cross. Now I need to reference the other project. So the other project's name is key match sample. And I'm going to get the URLs from here. Key match sample. But as you see, it expects um, something to join with. So the field here is named cat key, which is the same as the field here cat key. So now it says, okay, I found there is an object row that matches that. That helps you know you're on the right track. Next, I'm going to say, okay. 
select, um, we don't want an array. This is showing, you know, object row within more brackets for an array. Select object row. Now cells. What is the cell that I need? I need the cell URL. So cells URL. And this should have been in brackets. Now I select the value of the cell by typing that in and I get the URL of the new finding aid. And so in this case, I could have a lot more um, cat keys and old finding aid URLs, but I made it a very small project. Now I can move the column to the end, and this is just a data organization thing. You can also export and do this in Excel. I can remove this column. And now what I have is a spreadsheet that I can give to say someone who has control over the website and say, okay, for every instance of this, redirect it to this. And they can set up the redirect and then we're good to go. So that's another example of how initially, as you remember, this row wasn't even in this column. So we walked this URL over to this project and then we walked the URL from this project over to this project based on the cat key as an identifier. So this is an example of how you don't just have to move data between two spreadsheets, you can actually move data between quite a few spreadsheets. And there would have been other ways that I could have gone about this. I could also have added more data if I wanted to. I could have brought something else from over here to over here if I had other kinds of important information. I hope that this has been a helpful demonstration of the basics of using cell cross. I will be posting this to my website and from there you can um, copy and paste both the sample and as well as using these examples. Each of these will be available as a CSV that you can download and I encourage you to practice with them and then start using your own data. Thanks for watching.